Our next story comes from Singapore. A new trend has taken the world of pets by storm. Increasingly in the city-state that is cramped for space, people are starting to keep ants as pets. But can you actually keep ants as pets or are they more like pests? Our next report tells you more about it. This is a pet shop in Singapore. But unlike other pet shops which have cute furry pups and kittens, this pet shop promises to offer you a whole new different experience. It specializes in ants and has thousands and thousands of the little creatures scurrying around in neatly packed transparent boxes. This is the brainchild of John Yi, a 41-year-old ant enthusiast who likes to call himself entrepreneur. Some years ago, he received a gift of ants from his brother-in-law and since then has been hooked to these tiny, industrious creatures who exhibit very complex organizational behavior. Well, most Singaporeans do have a very big misconception on ants. Uh, there are like people saying, oh, they are really pests, you shouldn't keep them, they invade your property. They terrorize your whole house. Yeah, and that you should actually not keep ants because ants, you know, they're poisonous, they're dirty, disgusting, they carry diseases. So it's like we always fear something that we don't understand. So we're trying to like change their mindset. Such is his fascination with ants that John Yi shut down his thriving electronics distribution business and opened just ants to cater to fellow enthusiasts. John Yi has more than 40 species of ants in his collection. The number of ant aficionados in Singapore is small but growing. A Facebook group where ant keepers exchange advice and information has nearly 4,000 members. To be honest, I was so sure it cannot be selling ants. And if it was selling ants, is it selling them for fish or to, as food, you know? And I'm very tickled. They are actually selling ants as Pets. It's totally unheard of for me because you want to get your ants all the time. And sometimes we, we see too many, you know, you feel a bit creepy about it, you know. John Ye feels it will take some time for people to view ants differently. For now, he is happy that at least people are beginning to view ants as pets and not just as pests. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.